Alright, let's go ahead and continue this class quest. Uh, Brother Isabion wants you to learn about the element of water. The trial by water. It's good to see you again, Ryan. By the aura you exude, it is plain you have grown further as a conjurer. The time has come that you acquaint yourself with the third element of her art, water. For the first part of your lesson, you're to take this flask of pristine water and pour it at the foot of the hedge tree found near the Hawthor hut. The water's purity will draw forth the corrupting entity that is siphoning the tree's life force. Dispatch this being, and then speak with Brother Joasin at the Hawthorn Hut. As you might expect, he's a conjurer with a fine ear for the murmurings of brook and stream. Listen well to his advice if you would learn the master the element of water. Sounds good. Kinda wanted to head back that way anyway. Either that or a bent branch. Uh, it has been pointed out to me, and I 100% agree. Uh, is there a good way to open the journal? So do the journal. Okay, we don't have any side quests currently, but uh, our main story quest is a level 10 quest. We're level 17. I think, and I hate to say this, but I think we need to cool down a little bit on the side quests. We're leveling way too fast. And eventually we'll get to a point where we're just too high a level. And we'll be wasting time progressing the story, not gaining experience, that kind of stuff. So what we might end up doing is just holding off on the side quests. And the reason I hate that is... There's a lot of good world building, character building, and all that stuff that happens with the side quests, and I love doing it. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably save those for alternate classes. I did have another thought, but, uh, I could level up an alternate class alongside this one. Use the alternate class to do the the uh, side stories and I haven't quite decided if that's what I want to do yet it would mean because now we have the option to change our classes oh that's a tough one actually uh, for now I think we'll stick primarily to class quests and unlock quests in the main story, obviously. And then, if it feels like I'm just hold, skipping way too much side stuff, which I probably will be, we could probably... Eh, no. For now, my plan is... Sorry, a little indecisive. Yeah, my plan for now is just focus main story. I don't want to say blow through it, we're going to take our time and enjoy it, but yeah, as far as all the uh, side quests and stuff, we'll wait till we're ready to level up another class before we start doing that stuff. So for now, let's actually cast a teleport. I've kind of set these up as favored. Uh, East Shroud, Hawthorne Hut, we'll do the class quest for now. I will still do the hunting log. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, we still have a lot of stuff around here to to hunt. We will still do that because that's not something we can do on other classes. Well, I don't think so anyway. No, if we look at it, yeah, hunting log. The hunting log is per class as well. Yeah, we're doing conjurer stuff right now. Looks like there's only five ranks of it anyway, so that shouldn't be too bad. So I'm guessing each class has their own hunting log. So yeah, we'll do that as well. 
Uh, might also cool down on fates. Just to slow the leveling progression for a bit. And then come back and do those later. As stop gaps for the uh, other classes. So, let's use the pristine water. Tainted Water Spirit. Go speak with Joachim at the Hawthorne Hut. Greetings, Ryan. Brother Isumi informed me of your coming. I assume it was you who purified the befouled water at the Hedge Tree. The joyous bubbling of the elementals was a pleasure to hear. On behalf of both of them and myself, I thank you. Now, without further ado, let us speak of that which Brother Isumi sent you to here to learn. I trust you do not find it strange to be asked to tend to a tree when your lesson to stay concerns the element of water. One need not have studied botany to realize that the forest requires more than rich soil to flourish. Water is essential for carrying the nutrients in the earth from a tree's roots all the way to the very tips of its leaves. The precious liquid is the lifeblood of the Twelve's Wood. Without it, not would grow. But should it rise in too great a volume and too swiftly, the nourishing flow will become a crashing wave that washes away all before it. It's important to realize that all of nature is in balance. As conjury derives its power from nature, we must take care not to use our art in a manner like to disrupt the state. Ever must we be mindful of the ceaseless tug of war embodied in creation, this fruitful stalemate of the elements. Brother Joachim, are you here? Or are you about? I am here, sir. What has transpired? I heard a young antelope stags has gone berserk. I don't know what's got him so panicked, but there's no calming him now. The mad beast gore of the soldiers sent to shepherd him away from civilian settlements, leaving us with a pile of wounded over at Jocelyn's spire, and not enough hands to stanch the bleeding. We need a healer and fast. Curious. I sense nothing amiss in the whisperings of the elementals. What could have frightened these antelopes so? Ah, apologies. I shall revisit these musings anon. Let us make haste. If matters are as chaotic as you say, I fear the number of injured may be rising as we speak. I doubt that we too will suffice. We must divide our forces. Ryan, travel straight away to Jocelyn's Spire and tend to the wounded. I shall endeavor to rally further healers and follow after you Bearing that restorative ungent, or what restorative ungents I can. You, sir, head to Stillglade Fane and beseech the aid of Brother Isumi. Alrighty. We got some healing to do. That's kind of my main focus anyway. I mean, obviously we can do damage too, and we'll have to, but I like playing the healer. Who are a conjurer, you say? Praise Nofaka. You've come not a moment too soon. Sounds like yet more wounded have just been carried in. Pray offer them what aid you can.
Uh, okay, so target them, cast cure. Ah, uh, 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 I can breathe again. Thank you. These folk are out of danger for the present, but I fear our reprieve shall be brief. The battle with the stags yet rages, and there are reports of yet more wounded. I bid you join the wood whalers and help put an end to this. Seek them just off the road that leads to the northeast. And do not worry, my art should be sufficient to prevent matters from worsening here. Now go. Alright. Uh, looks like... I think the fastest way is actually through this fate. Oh, there's another Weevil. Ooh, we just took a lot of damage in that fall. Should have thought about that. Too low level for this fate. Not that I was trying to do it anyway. Oh, there's black bats over there that are part of our hunting log. And giant gnats. Uh, let's try to circle around this fate. Get these black bats first. Since they're a little out of the way. saw more. Oh, it ventured over that way. I'm trying not to draw... Oh, there's one over... No, that's a gnat. Nope. I'm trying not to fight the wild boars. Oh, there's just aggressive enemies all around. Okay. Lost aggro on them. Might have to clear the way for the black bat, though. Let's see if we can't pull it away a little bit. Maybe right in here. tell if the first black bat we fought is already back or if that's a new one. I'll also try to pull it kind of away. Here we go. Apparently we can also chain ex experience from killing monsters if they're I guess in a higher level than this, so we haven't seen it before. Oh, we just learned Stone 2. Deals Earth damage with potency of 190. And we have Swift Cast. Next spells cast immediately. And I think there's a stone mastery there. Let's look at some of this. 
So stone went from a potency of 140 to 190. Uh, the cast and recast are the same, and MP cost. So that's cool. Uh, swift cast must be a job skill. Let's pop you up there. Or roll skill. Yeah, swift cast. Next spills casts immediately. That could be useful for heals in an emergency. And then stone mastery. Oh, that just upgrades stone to stone too. Sounds good. Let's go after these giant gnats. I like that stone too. Then again, these guys are also a little bit lower level, so they're dying faster from that. This will count. Well, we can help that person out a little bit. It did count. Cool. Now oh, they don't need the heal anymore, but we helped out anyway. So giant gnats are taken care of. Alright, this one's going to level sink us, which will probably put us back to stone one. Oh, and Sylphie's here. Come to... Well, actually, I don't want to start this yet. I want to talk to Sylphie. Uh, come to lend a hand, have you? Quickly, the fight is this way. Ugh, the conjurer from the guild. Well, tell Brother Isumi if you want. I don't care. I'm not going to stand by and watch people bleed to death. Well, we need all the help we can get, so. Oh, and this will sink us to level 19, which we're not. So, we should get to keep our stone, too. Conjurer, your aid. Slay the young antelope stags. The soldiers need all my attention. Please help the other wood whalers. Uh, let's also get arrow on everybody. Also pay attention to their health. Heal them as necessary when we can. Stand firm! Oh, there's also water sprite in and out. Throw some heals out. Oh, they need a lot of heal. Or they have a lot of health too. Though, I should say.
<laughs> Miss? Uh, I'm fine. Don't mind me. Pray tell me that we're not too late. Sylphie, what have you done? I forbade you from using such, such methods. Guildmaster, I will not see you repeat your mother's mistakes. My mother never did anything wrong. Ryan, may I ask that you follow her, please? I fear my presence will only serve to provoke her further. She cannot have gone far in her weakened state. Oh, I have an idea what's going on. My guess is that conjurers draw their power from nature. Sylphie, who has no care for nature, but is able to heal, she's taken power from herself instead of nature. So if she were to try to cast uh, rays on somebody, she'd literally be trading her life? Are those the methods that Isumi is talking about? I don't understand. When I try to cast spells, nothing happens. When I reach for my power, th there's just nothing there. Is this what the guildmaster was trying to warn me about? He said I was repeating my mother's mistakes. The same thing happened to her. Losing her magic. I mean, and then she... Am I going to die? This can't be happening. I didn't think... Please, I need to be alone. Alright, looks like we're headed back to Stillblade Fane. Go ahead and cast Return. Ah, crap. At the last second, I was like, maybe I should go finish the hunting log. That's fine. We'll be back there, I imagine. Well, that's a cool umbrella. Or would that be more of like a parasol? Either way, it's pretty cool looking. Let's head over to Conjurer's Guild. Uh, we probably also won't need recommendations or our toolbar. If we're not doing side quests and all that. Ryan, you have returned to Lass. Were you able to speak with Sylphie? I see. I once taught you that conjurers harness the power of nature, that we might bring about change. Earth, wind, water, healing. The principle is no different. For the art of mending, we draw on the boundless life force of nature and bestow it upon the wounded. Sylphie has never sought to borrow from that bounty. Her power to heal stems from her, from her own life force. The vital energies of mortals are, however, finite. And now that which I most feared has come to pass. Okay. Sounds essentially like what I was saying. Her mother unwittingly took her own life through the continued use of her healing skills. And Sylphie's aptitude for the art is, if anything, even greater. Thus, it is not unexpected that she should reach the limits of her strength at a much earlier age. If we did not intervene, this terrible tragedy will be repeated, and I, for one, could not bear to see the child suffer the same fate as her mother. I shall think on a solution to this dark dilemma. It may be that I'll have need of your assistance in the near future, Ryan. 
do not doubt your abilities. You are a conjurer who has passed the trials of earth, wind, and water. You grow closer to nature with every passing day. I sense within you the seeds of greatness. In your encounter with water, you learned its role as a bringer of life. But you also felt the implacable power of a surging wave as it swept you along in its path. Like earth and wind, and nature at large, the element of water is possessed of more than one aspect. Having completed the third lesson, I am satisfied that you have mastered the fundamentals of conjury. Yet this is but the beginning of your journey. Henceforth you must strive to tune yourself ever more closely to the elements and to nature. Alright. Get another one-hander and a shield. Those combined are, well, even alone is better stats. Well, different stats. But then when you throw the shield in the mix, yeah, even better. And then... Oh, this replaces our head as well. Oh, those are all better because of our, uh... Novus gear? I don't even remember what it was called. Like, technically, this isn't as good. Yeah, I can't see the headpiece. Like, without the headpiece, sure. We'll go with the bronze pieces. Okay, now we need to hit level 20 for that, I imagine. Seems to be every five levels, yeah. Okay, let's put on our new uh, character, actions and traits, character. We want, is armory chest better or character? Eh, character, we can open the armory chest. I don't know if we can do the same vice versa. Just a quicker, easier shortcut. Um, Ash Wand. Now we can put the shield on. Let's teleport over to Bent Branch Meadows. Uh, we'll do the levy one first. Just unlock whatever that is. Greetings, adventurer. My name is Tierney. I am in charge of assigning local levy quests here at Bent Branch Meadows. Gontrant convinced you to seek me out, did he? Then I shall assume you have a basic understanding of what accepting a guild levy might entail. But first things first. I must be certain that your skills are a match for your enthusiasm. The Adventurer's Guild would not approve of me sending a fledgling hero to his death or dishonor for want of the requisite capabilities. Take a moment to peruse the task outlined in the skilled levy. Do you believe yourself up to the challenge? Uh, accepting guild levies. Speaking with a local distributor of guild levies, known as a levy mate, will bring up a list of available levy quests. Highlight a quest to display its objectives, and select accept to add the quest to your journal. Levy allowances are required accept levy quests. You'll be granted three levy allowances every 12 hours, Earth time, up to a maximum of 100. You may accept as many as 16 levy quests at once. Seems excessive. Uh, too close to home. Get some boots that I don't need. A pack of anoles has been spotted near Bent Bratch Meadows, far from their usual hunting grounds on Naked Rock. The local chocobo keeps are worried that this is only a matter of time before the hungry skelkins stray too close to the stables and endanger their birds. 
To prevent the worst, the Wood Whalers are seeking volunteers to find and cull the creatures. Levy quest objectives are deemed complete. When all targets have been slain, be aware that some targets may attempt to flee the battle and join with reinforcements, making it imperative that you deal with them before they have an opportunity to do so. Uh, report to Central Shroud. Time limit of 20 minutes. I'm glad to hear it. Pray be aware, however, that Anoles are wont to flee to their broodmates when they sense they're overmatched. You'd be wise to prevent such a reunion, lest the battle be drawn out past your limits of endurance. Open your journal under Duty in the main menu, and begin the selected levy quest by pressing the Initiate button. When an Anole feels overmatched, it will flee the battle. If it reaches a certain distance, then another Anole will appear. The levy quest objective can be more easily achieved by slaying the fleeing creature before it is joined by more of its kind. Uh, initiating levy quests. To initiate a levy quest, first open your journal via the duty section of the main menu, or by pressing J on your keyboard. Next, select the levy quest to bring up a detailed description of its objectives and its rewards. Clicking on the map button will show you the approximate location of the levy quest objectives. Though you can initiate a levy quest at any time, while in the corresponding area, it is recommended that you wait until you're close to the objectives before doing so. This will increase your chances of becoming eligible for completion bonuses. Once you have arrived, open the journal, select the levy quest, and click on the initiate button to begin your duty. Okay. I'm um, guessing that's a green arrow on our mini-map. Yep, looks right. So it sounds like we want to get closer to it. This also sounds like another way of leveling up side jobs and stuff. Basically six a day. Okay, so we're in the area. Uh, initiate it from here. Your home point is not set to an eighth right in this area. If you return to your current home point at any time during the levy quest, you will automatically abandon the duty. Proceed. Yep. Yeah. Uh, levy quest difficulty. When you initiate a levy quest, you will be given the opportunity to adjust its difficulty. The greater the difficulty setting, the higher the level the target enemies will be. Difficulty also affects completion rewards. Levy quest difficulty can be lowered at any time during the course of the duty by selecting the quest name in the duty list and selecting difficulty. Please note that the levy quest difficulty cannot be raised once the duty has been initiated. Okay. Well, we'll do it at level 4 then. Or plus 4. Uh, changing classes during the course of this duty or using class above the recommended level may reduce the amount of experience awarded upon completion. Gotcha. Levy quest duty. Once you've initiated a levy quest, the location of your quest objectives will be displayed on a mini map. Levy quest targets can also be identified by their distinguishing icon displayed above their names. During a levy quest, the duty list is replaced with information regarding quest objectives, levy difficulty, time remaining, and more. Rewards are only granted to those who complete all the objectives listed within the allotted time. Also, it seems like our level's a bit too high, which is pretty apparent, but that's one of the reasons why we're going to slow down on side quests and that kind of stuff. We also managed to join a fate at the same time. Oh, we only had to slay three of these. So this is just an easy quest, even if we weren't super overleveled. 
interesting that it doesn't sink us down. Uh, okay, return to Levy Mate at Bent Branch Meadows. Yes. Collecting Levy Quest Rewards. When all the Levy Quest objectives have been completed, you'll be given the option to return immediately to the issuing Levy Mate and collect your reward. Okay. Kind of accidentally figured that out on my own. Ah, your first foray into the world of Levy Quests appears to have been a success. And here's a reward for your efforts. A bonus has been awarded based on difficulty. A bonus has been awarded based on speed of completion. So, oh, that's your bonus. Also seems to be a good way to make some gill. Possibly. Oh, achievement unlocked on the payroll one. Now that this trial is behind us, I have no further qualms about assigning new tasks around Bent Branch Meadows. There are levy quests aplenty for a hardworking adventurer such as yourself, and a deal of fame and fortune to be one in their doing. And that's just from completing the regular quest. Now, city state levies unlocked. It's a blue unlock quest. Simply the Hest. Tyranny believes you're ready to join a guild Hest. I'm guessing that's different than a levy quest. Should you be interested in a challenge, quite unlike your average levy quest, you might consider joining a guild Hest. If you wish to know more, pray speak with Battle Warden Rebald outside yonder tent. I'll inform him of your success against the Knolls, so there are no doubts as to your abilities. Okay, now they have a quest. Or not a quest, but a, I think that's a levy mate thing. If there's a guild levy you seek, then I may have just the right one for you. Yeah, these are all the different levies. Gotcha. Let's talk to Rebald. I was told a stalwart adventurer would be along shortly. I take it that is you? Then permit me to tell you all about our current operations. Wait, might this be your first time participating in a guild hest? I remember my first hest. It was the night of my 20th name day. My fellow guildmates invited me to join them in the slaying of the family of Pisces, who were stealing chocobo eggs from Bent Branch Meadows. The moment we arrived, one of the terrible beasts immediately turned to me and charged. The thing was thrice my size, and had already maimed several chocobo keeps. There's no way I could win, so I simply froze and waited for the end. But that's when I remembered that I was not alone. My friends rallied around me, and together we defeated the Pisces. That, my friend, is what a guild Hest is truly about. What say you, friend? Care to experience a Hest for yourself? Uh, sure. Oh, oh I have to pick one. Once again, I don't think the mana potions help out a bunch. So we got the health potion, although that doesn't really help me either. Duty Finder unlocked. Guild has now available. Duty Finder has been updated with a new regular duty. You've unlocked the Duty Finder. This feature allows you to undertake multiplayer duties without having to form a party on your own. To bring up the Duty Finder interface, select Duty Finder under Duty from the main menu. Guild Hess. Guild Hess are special operations organized by an adventurer's guilds and overseen by NPCs known as Battle Wardens. Speaking with the Battle Warden displays a list of all Guild Hess currently available. Please note, however, that each operation has conditions, such as level or class, that must be met by all party members before the duty can be commenced. At first, you may find that only a limited number of guild heads are accessible, but do not worry. As you progress in level, that number will grow. Guild heads can also be accessed via the duty finder, removing the hassle of having to try and gather a party. Okay, so this is our first, like, multiplayer experience. Uh, 
Duty Finder. Duty Finder help. The Duty Finder allows you to challenge dungeons and other duties with a party of other players. You may access it via Duty in the main menu, or by choosing the appropriate option at the entrance of any duty. Uh, registration. Enter dungeons and other duties via the Duty Finder by choosing your desired duty, then selecting Join. You will then be automatically matched with compatible players destined for the same duty. You may register for up to five duties at one time. Duties marked by lock symbol require certain conditions to be met before becoming accessible. Uh, duty status. When you register for a duty, it will appear along with an icon in your duty list. You may check duty status, including matching progress and approximate waiting times by selecting this entry. Commencing duty. Once you've been successfully matched with other players, a prompt window indicated by notification sound will appear. Begin duty by selecting Commence. Please note that if you do not commence duty within the time limit, your registration will automatically be withdrawn and you must start the process over. Uh, what's next? Over the course of your adventures, the number of duties available to you will gradually increase. Many duties can be cleared via both the duty finder and duty support systems. So it's worth familiarizing yourself with both. You may also re-challenge previously cleared dungeons by accessing Duty Finder or Duty Support via Duty in the main menu. Okay. Uh, so these must be all the different things that we can find. But right now all we have unlocked is Guild Hess, Basic Training, Enemy Parties, Our Role as a Healer, our item level is 13. Oh, looks like there's a first time completion bonus. Uh, the description. This battle exercise will test your ability to manage multiple parties of enemies. Learn to draw single targets from groups using range attacks. And engage them in locations far out of the line of sights of other creatures. It's got a 30 minute time limit. It's in middle of Nosha. Uh, one to four players, one tank, one healer, two DPS. Unrestricted parties not allowed. Uh, disciples of war or magic. Limited jobs can participate only in a preformed party meeting, party size. Uh, it's a level 10, sync from 11. No additional loot rules. Explorer mode unavailable. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. So I think we just click it. We have one of five selected. Join. Okay, now we're forming a party. Average wait time less than five minutes. Time elapsed. And I'm guessing that's one tank, one healer, two DPS. All right. Then we kind of go about our business while that happens. We'd probably wait to turn in quests though in case we're in a cutscene or something. Also, since other people aren't involved, anything that pops up like help wise in the middle might have to wait till the end, just so I don't slow them down. Okay, so commence. Light party. Oh. Ah, uh, close. I don't know what all that other stuff that popped up was. Okay, let's see. Guess I missed our party here. We got a lot of stuff to read after this. Tank does not need healing yet, so. Done, are we? Call your bloody arses over here so we can leave this off a place. Okay, that was fast. So, definitely not a dungeon. Uh, Tororo Battle Warden. 
Ha ha ha! Fine display for a first timer. Here's your well earned coin. I've tossed in a little something extra sweet in the deal. So is that you might consider coming back. A bonus has been added to your reward for completing the Hest as a conjurer for the first time. An additional bonus has been added to your party completing the operation without suffering a single KO. Okay. Oh, we received a player accommodation. Okay, so guild has are super short then. Okay, guild has rewards. If you successfully complete all guild has objectives in the time allotted, you'll be eligible for a reward. Speak with the battle warden, overseeing the operation to collect it. If your party can complete the objectives without suffering a single casualty, you'll be rewarded a special bonus. Player accommodation. It's a system whereby you can command a party member who left a positive impression upon you in the course of duty. Upon the conclusion of a duty, the player accommodation button will appear in the bottom right of the screen. Oh, I didn't see that. Selecting it will bring up an interface wherein you can command a player. Please note that accommodations cannot be given to those who are in your party at the time of duty registration. Accommodations can be accumulated over time. By receiving a certain amount, you'll unlock achievements that grant special rewards. It pays nice or it pays to play nice. Gotcha. Hazardous zones. While participating in guild hests, you may notice areas that are colored differently than the surrounding landscape. This color is to warn players that stepping into the hazardous zones will trigger new enemies to appear. Take care when passing nearby. Guild has objectives. Once you've commenced the guild hest, the operation's objectives and the time remaining to complete them will appear in the duty list. Hints helpful to completing guild hest objectives will appear some will sometimes appear on screen. These hints will also be added to the duty list after being displayed. If you're unable to complete the objectives within the allotted time, the guild hest will be deemed a failure. Limit break. Limit breaks are powerful actions, which are only available to parties of four or more members. The actions can be executed when the party's limit gauge is full. The gauge is located directly above the party list. Okay, I didn't notice that either. The limit gauge will slowly fill as battle progresses, while certain acts of heroism, such as curing an ally while they're on the brink of death, or preventing an enemy from using its special attack, will cause the gauge to rise quicker. The Limit Break trigger is located in the Actions and Traits menu under General. You can set your hotbar for easy access. There are five different types of Limit Breaks. Single Target Attack, Melee. Attack to all targets in a straight line, Ranged. Area of Effect Attack, Caster. Uh, increased Party Defense, Tank. And HP Restoration, Healer. Which type is used depends on the class job of the person who initiates the action. Okay, so it's shared for everybody. So, me being a healer, I could heal everybody, but it might be better to let other people use it for damage, and I just keep everybody healed. Sounds like the more logical thing. Or possibly, there's like a big attack incoming, a tank could use it. But still, I think DPS better. Limit gauge length varies depending on the party size and battle type. The more party members you have, the more difficult the foe you face, the more options you'll have. Okay. Uh, joining a party. You have formed a party with another player. Parties make it possible to tackle challenges that would be impossible to overcome alone, such as defeating powerful enemies or exploring perilous dungeons. Party chat mode can be used to communicate solely with the other members of your party. You can change your chat mode at any time via the speech bubble icon located below the chat log. While in a party, a list of your party's members is displayed on the left side of the screen. This can be used to quickly identify each member's current condition. You can also target party members by clicking on their name on the list. This is especially helpful when there are many objects on the screen and is difficult or time-consuming to target a member by ordinary means. 
your party will sometimes be awarded boosts to various attributes based on class and job combinations. If your party is receiving one of these bonuses, it will be indicated by a party bonus icon located above your party list. The bonus is nullified if you leave your party for another area. Okay. Remember, your party members are the, all the in-game embodiment of real living people, and chances are you will see them again online. Karma is alive and well in Eorzea. Treat people well, and your life in Eorzea will be a pleasant one. Treat them poorly, and it'll come back to you. Alright, be nice to people. That makes sense. Well, that was cool. Uh... So there's a duty roulette for Guildhouse. We have a couple things we can kill for hunting log. Did we unlock new Guildhouse by chance? Under the armor. So we did unlock a new one. And then the duty roulette. When using the duty roulette, you'll be assigned a random duty from among those you've unlocked. In return for leaving your destination in the hands of fate, you'll receive enhanced rewards. Furthermore, should you happen to be an adventurer in need, that is to say your role is in short supply, you'll receive an additional bonus. Okay. So that's this over here. They need tanks, so we're not the adventurer in need. Now, okay, we can only do it for guild hess. Also, we still have enemy parties selected, so clear selection. We can do under the armor now. Yeah, we don't have a completion bonus anymore. So we should probably do all of these at least once as well. Bachman, a wandering revenant trapped in the corporal realm, has reclaimed his legendary suit of armor and now waits silently near the Tamtar Deepcroft. For any who would challenge him, not only does the undead knight brandish a massive blade, capable of incapacitating multiple victims in one fell stroke, but when threatened, Bachman will summon his decaying minions from the pits of the seventh hell, defeat the restless soul, and send him back to the life stream where he may at long last find peace. Okay, all the same stuff. Yeah. Let's complete it for the first time completion. I would say we go try to complete our hunting log in the air. Oh, never mind. Let's look for some of those things like limit break, bonuses, player commendation, all that stuff this time. Okay, limit break. Uh, party members. Okay, it's got little profiles. That's what that was. Heal yet. Oh, player accommodation. And we pick somebody. Take held aggro. Guild has one soon. Operation with success. Here's your payment. With your efforts, I've thrown in a little extra, so you may consider returning to aid us once again. Uh, Conjurer first time, no KOs, nice. Okay, we might have leveled up a little too fast, but I think it's important to get all the first time stuff. Now... Uh, we have another first timer. Basic training, enemy strongholds. So uh, we have to complete the prior ones to unlock the next one. And judging by this, there'll be two level 10s, probably two level 15s, so on. Well, we're going to be over leveling again, but 
Might as well. Okay, so we have this one selected. Now, I'm curious about the duty roulette. Like, it doesn't have a first time completion bonus. So, I don't think we need to worry about that. And it'll just be more guild has anyway. And we're kind of already doing them all once. So, let's try enemy strongholds. This battle exercise will test your ability to breach enemy stronghold defenses, eliminate targets in each of the three anti chambers before infiltrating the final chamber and engaging the Cyclopean Toad, who makes the cave its den. Maybe I don't understand Cyclopean. I would think that's a one eye. Maybe it means something else. He makes the cave its den. Making quick work of the creature's key for the Yarzins who lurk behind the chamber's boulders will emerge once they smell blood. Well, let's join this one. And it's ready right away. This one's level 15, maybe we'll actually have to throw a heal out at some point. Or maybe not. Oh, something happened down there. A party member... I missed that. Oh, something's attacking me from behind. Second gate is open. One more, you'll have the breach to check in. Toad's Lair. DPS is a little low, but as long as they don't take a big hit, it should be fine. And there we go. Father knows has one. Good job, Mr. Tank. Oh, didn't get it in time. Do it from here. Good job, Mr. Tank. Solid performance. You seem to know your way around the battlefield. Here's the hoping that I may work with you again at a later time. Bonus has been added to your reward for completing the Hess's Conjurer. No KOs. Cool. And we got a player commendation. Uh, let's take a look at the next one, I suppose. Because if my theory is correct, it'll be another level 15. Yep, hero on the half shell. Wealthy noble Teleji Adeleji has had his prize pet, a rare gill turtle, kidnapped by ruthless bandits who seek a sizable ransom for the gentle wavekin's return. Always a man of principle, Teleji Adeleji has decided that instead of caving to the bandits' demands, he will offer the ransom to anyone who can safely retrieve his pet from the clutches of evil. After weakening the gill turtle, Slay fire sprites and use their cores to light a special herb on fire. The smoke release should be powerful enough to put the creature to sleep, but 
only if the turtle is close enough to the flames. Okay, so we're not trying to kill the turtle. We just have to wound them and then slay fire sprites. Well, let's give this one a go. Ready right away. That's convenient. Here I was worried about over leveling due to side quests, but apparently there's a lot of side content that helps us level up fast. Howdy. Close. Roll down. Focus on the turtle for a bit. And then we need to look for a fire sprite. Let's also get a heal. Our first heal of a multiplayer dungeon type thing. So we need to keep our eyes peeled. And a fire sprite. I think that's what I was telling us right there. And now we need to bring it over here. There we go. Fair accommodation. Good job, Tank. Thanks for the game. Well played. A solid performance. You seem to know your way around the battlefield. Here's to hoping that I may work with you again at a later time. And Conjurer, no KO. And combination. All right, uh, we're not level twenty yet, so we shouldn't see the next one. Oh, it's locked because we're not level twenty. Gotcha. So now we can continue the story quests. You must be the venture immune set word about. I'm Keitha, head wrangler around these parts. I've heard many and more things about you. Good things, lest you worry. When the elder seed seer bade us welcome venturers, tis fair to say we had our doubts. Till hard working folk like yourself set about proving us wrong. That is, consider me a convert. Any road, you have a mind to help out at the ranch, have you? Good. We could always do with a hand or two to keep the place running smoothly. As a matter of fact, I have a task right here that wants doing. Let me know when you're ready to get busy. Oh, and you come highly recommended, so don't go letting no one down, eh? Ah, uh, looks like we're going bronze pieces. Uh, you shall not trespass. Keitha, the head wrangler at Bent Branch Meadows, appears most distraught. See if there's anything you can do. Seven hells. Some bastard, Quickern, has gone and broken one of me chocobo eggs. The filthy little thief was busy looting the barn when a guard startled it, prompting the damn thing to drop the egg it was clutching and run. Some of the lads gave chase, bless him, but when three more of the vermin appeared, Milot had no choice but to turn back. Something has to be done about this quickern. Would you mind heading over to Matron's Leth and having a word with a soldier named Rosaline for me? The rat man nests in her neck of the woods. See, she'll know what to do. 
very well. Throw a little sprint in. Seems like she's nearby. You're here on Keitha's behalf. Hmm. I see. Broke one of her eggs, you say? There are four of the creatures? The quicker and are a nuisance at the best of times. But we must now add trespass and chocobo murder to their list of transgressions. They have forced our hand. Our retribution must needs be swift and decisive. And who better than you to deliver it, adventurer? Find the lair to the west of here and make an example of exactly four quicker and scramblers. We can send no clearer message. Oh, they're kind of humanoid. I feel bad about that. I think we're a little over leveled. The deed is done? Good. A grim task, but a necessary one. You have shown them the folly of inciting the wrath of those who can sort with adventurers. Perhaps now the quicker and will think twice before giving in to their larcenous proclivities. Looks like we're going Bronchies. Oh boy. The temptation to do a side quest that popped up from a main quest. Probably kind of related. But we'll focus main story quests. Don't look down. Osha oh, Jab, a wood whaler at the matron's left, is looking for a sure footed adventurer to pluck blue trumpets from the root of the nearby Heaven's Pillar. Ho oh, there, adventurer. You seem light on your feet. Fancy a quick skip along the root of the Heaven's Pillar here? I need someone to pick off a blue trumpet or two. I know what you're thinking. It's not more than a mushroom, so why the commotion? I'll tell you why. You allow that fungal menace to multiply, and within a moon, they'll be covering the whole damn root and rotting the wood clear through. Just watch your step while you're up there, though. The Dyramites on the ground won't waste any time adding insult to falling injuries. Once you're done, head up to the top end of the route and report to Theodore. He'll be glad to hear someone's taking care of one of his more dreaded chores. Seems easy enough. Oh, they are a little bit precarious. We need four of them. Luckily we got some reach. Uh... I'm not sure how falling works. Okay. We did slide a little bit. Luckily, we got some pretty good vertical. Ah, uh, not a fate. Uh, we have to level sync for it, so it doesn't matter. They are arbor buzzards that we kind of need for a hunting log. So it might not hurt to do it. Such a, such a low level, I don't think it'll hurt us too much. We'll go ahead and knock out two birds with one stone then. Any 
yeah, it is back down to stone one. Lethe on my mind is the name of his fate. And the Matron's Lethe serves as an important thoroughfare for merchants and travelers. Hint ensure that they arrive safely at their destinations. The area must be kept clear. Deadly predators. Which I guess are these buzzards. Not the hornet swarms that are also up here. Ah, I guess you can't really call a hornet predator though. They're more annoying than anything else. This might be the last one we need. Or maybe one more after this. Nope, that was it. Alright, back to collecting our mushrooms. And then meet with the guy up here. Hello, Theodore. Oh, you've cleared the root of blue trumpets. Wonderful. To be quite honest, I have this teeny tiny problem with heights. Uh, no, this is not my ideal posting, but we all do what we must. Keeping the route passable is an important job, you see. It's one of the few way folks can traverse the central shroud, since the calamity all but split the area in twain. It is not, perhaps, the easiest pathway to walk, but there are those who believe the will of the matron herself caused this tendril of a heaven's pillar, to remain thus suspended, that it might serve the forest people. I'm rather fond of the notion myself. That one's almost better. We do need an upgraded headpiece. We didn't get one from the uh, Hall of Novices. Achievement oh, locked. I got the magic stick too. Uh, next class quest offers opportunities. Yeah, basically there's the next, another class quest. We also got a trait. Uh, Maim and Mend. Increases base action damage and HP restoration by 10%. Awesome. In the grim darkness of the forest, Theodore is looking for an adventurer to deliver a message. It is regrettably my duty to stand watch over the road from here to Bent Branch Meadows. The ranch has become a veritable institution of Gridania, so any threats to its continued operation are taken quite seriously by the Wood Whalers. Which reminds me, mayhap is my imagination, but I believe I caught a glimpse of some shadowy fellow not too long ago. Would you mind passing word to Rosaline down below? I would go myself, but, well, it's hard enough marshalling the courage to... Walk the route for my shift. Also, we have a new guild test available. Uh, duty finder. Pulling poison posies. The forest land traps have reached maturity and begun releasing noisome pollen clusters in their efforts to reproduce. When taken into the lungs, the pollen can cause severe irritation, nausea, in the case of extended exposure, even death. These vile seedkin must be dealt with before the entire Twelveswood is engulfed in a cloud of despair. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll head back on down. 
Maybe even a little sprint. We'll wait to talk to her though. Just because I don't want to have a cutscene trigger or something. Party member portraits. Uh, okay, don't open stuff in the middle of combat. Gotcha. Same thing they always say. And let's just see. Yep, there is another level 20. Uh, unclick you. Click you. Stinging back. A notorious band of outlaws known as the Red Belly Wasp is seeking to establish a new hideout near the Thousand Maws of Todorak. Once the leader is attacked, he will summon nearby allies to his aid, including powerful conjurers skilled in the arts of healing. Defeating these allies before engaging their leader will greatly increase your chance of success. Alright, let's give that one a go. And it's ready right away. Oh, somebody withdrew. Not to fear. There we go. Is that a flying horse? Party, howdy! Close. Oh. I think somebody's gonna try and take a whole bunch of stuff. Soon, uh, a little bit healing. Soon, uh, a little bit healing. I need a soon on myself. Soon, uh, soon, uh, soon, uh, and cures. Lucid Dream. Try to get some uh, debuffs on the people. Kind of 
like stun or something, and we're done. Thanks for the game. Well played. Uh, good job, Tank. Oh, flower petals. There. Got accommodation. Now my theory is correct. Next one should be level 25. Yep. All right. So we're caught up on guild Hess. Speak with Rosaline. A shadowy fellow. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I may have seen something. I dismissed it as a trick of the light before, but I thought I saw a shadow in the forest to the north. Still. I suspect it's nothing more than a quicker and thief on the run. If you must state your curiosity, by all means investigate. Should you actually find something a note, I would like very much to see it. Alright, let's head to the north then. A worn leather bag and a campfire. That would seem to me like somebody was here. And now take the bag back to Rosaline. Bon bomb. Hmm, have you found something? Uh, yep, leather bag. Remnants of a campfire and a forgotten bag. This could belong to any adventurer or traveler. And inside we have a chocobo grooming brush and rosling oil. But wait, why would a traveler make camp here? Wouldn't it be far safer to beg the hospitality of Bent Branch Meadows? Bugger me. I think this belongs to that stranger said to be meddling with the chocobos. Thank you, adventurer. We've been lax in our duties, but no longer. I swear we will find the shadow. And it looks like we're going bronze piece. Threat level elevated. Rosaline would like you to warn other sentries of the stranger's activities. We cannot allow other sentries to dismiss similar sightings. They must know what we have learned. To that end, I've prepared this letter containing everything we know about our mysterious stranger. I need you to show it to my comrades throughout the shroud. Once each sentry has committed the details of memory, have them write their name at the bottom for confirmation. Start with Elmar at the Bannock, then find Bernard at the eastern gates of Bent Branch Meadows. They ought to relay the information to the others. Finally, make sure El Eli Yelgar sees the letter. He stands watch within the stables, so if this stranger's aim is to harm the chocobos, Yilgar may have to personally put an end to it. Cool Runnings, that was an awesome movie. Also gotta keep our eyes peeled for fireflies. They're on our hunting list. Hello, Elmar. You don't look like you're here for training. Nope. Got a letter for you. Shadowy figure. Understood. I'll pass the word to the recruits as well as the sentries. Let me just make my mark. There, that should do it. If you follow the road south, you'll find Bernard by the bridge to Bent Branch. Godspeed, adventurer. South we go. Uh, I don't know if the road goes around. Kind of looks like a path. Let's 
fine. We'll do a little cross-country traveling. Hello, Bernard. You have business with me, adventurer? Yes, I do. Rosaline is right to be cautious. For this stranger to venture so close, yet go to such great lengths to remain undetected, is highly suspicious. They clearly have designs on Bent Branch. We appreciate the help. I should write my name here, yes? And here. Take it. You'll find Ilgar in the stables, past Aetherite. I think that unicorn's on fire. Oh, it's a wolf. That's pretty neat. Mind the birds, adventure. They get nervous around strangers. What's this? A shadowy stranger near Matron's Lithy. You've already shown this to Bernard and Elmar. I see. Good, good. And then all that's left is inform the staff here. Not everyone here is a wood whaler, true, but even our sta stable boys wouldn't hesitate to take up arms to defend these chocobos. And... Migrant Marauders. Elgar would like to impose upon the kindness of an adventurer. You're quite the compassionate adventurer by the sound of it. Well, far be it from me to look a gift chocobo in the mouth. I have need of a capable man like yourself. We received a peddler at the gates the other day, an excitable Lollapel that was sweating and swearing that he had been attacked by large winged beasts. Yet, other than hornets, I know of no flying creatures in this region. If there's any truth to what he said, it might prove problematic for other travelers. Follow the road south and see if you can find any evidence to support his claim. And should you find something, kindly tell up there to patrol his area. Sometime, instead of just standing beneath a spire, and staring at the God's damned road. In those words. Very well. That's a dragon. Looks like there are a lot of cool mounts in this game. I'm just going to tank it. Oh, we dodged both of them. Actually, maybe I shouldn't tank stuff. I need to practice avoiding things. Oh, there's a fate here. We have to level sync to join up with it, but... Northern Vulture, too, and they're defending a nest? Well, I, uh, perhaps we can omit that last detail from any official reports. I'd rather not give Elgar any further cause to be cross. Thank you for slaying the beast. You may rest assured that I will not permit this to happen again. Guard at the Galvin Spire wants you to visit the head shrine. I have another task for you, adventurer. I need you to head to the head shrine to the southwest of here and speak with Hero Leone. After tending the head shrine, the hero is scheduled to board a boat from the mirror planks. Well, the vessel's departure time has come and gone, but there's still no sign of her. Knowing how absorbed the hero becomes in her work, 
I am not unduly concerned. Armel, however, was responsible for organizing Leone's transportation. It's likely wondering if her wayward passenger is ever going to arrive. Perhaps a gentle reminder is in order. Alright. Continue heading south. Keeping our eyes peeled for fireflies. Uh, recommendations. Yeah, there should be around Bent Branch. Okay, we did both of those. Those are just fates and a side quest. All right. I think that's our hero over there. Leone! Yes, what troubles you, my dear? Ah, yes, the boat. I had quite forgotten. Hmm? Oh, my task with the head tree is well and finished. But the elementals murmur of a malevolent presence in the vicinity of the Tom Tara Deepcroft. I must abide a while longer, that I might better divine the source of the elementals' distress. Please inform Armel that I shall be late in arriving. Alrighty. I think we've been near the docks. Did some unloading and... Found a fishing pole. Uh, actually, let's head near the Tom Tar Deepcroft. I think I recall seeing the fireflies around here. Up around here. Oh, wait, that was part of a quest. It might not still be here. No. Maybe inside? I could have swore I remember seeing them around here. However, I'd probably say Tom Terra Deepcroft. Oh no, we got fireflies. They have a smith around here, too. Alright, there's our last firefly. And that completes that. bear a message from here Leone, an evil presence in the Deepcroft. That does sound grave indeed. I shall organize a vessel for a later time, then. Perhaps a bell from now? Two? Better make it three, just to be safe. Thank you for your trouble. Uh, downgrade, so bronze piece. Salvaging the sea. Armel, a local of the Mirror Planks, Wishes you to salvage cargo from the wreckage on the road. Might you assist me with another matter, sir? A wagon that departed from Quarry Mill was overturned on the road with some large, ill-tempered forest beast chose that moment to defend its territory. By Nofica's grace, the driver escaped without serious injury, but the wagon's cargo was not so fortunate. With none willing to risk another encounter with the creature, I can only assume the goods remained strewn across the ground the incident occurred. Simply follow the road here to the south, and you should come across the wreckage. 
salvage what cargo you can, and deliver it to Keitha at Bent Branch Meadows, if you'd be so kind. Sounds good to me. Side off in the distance there. I'm guessing that creature's still around. These are the hazard zones that we learned. It's a toad! Oh boy. Easy day. Cargo. Cargo. And we'll go return those. This is the same fate that we passed earlier. It's looking kind of cloudy out. Excuse me, gentlemen. Sprints back up. Probably should have been looking for that earlier. Hello, Keitha. You have a delivery for me. I do. It's your fallen cargo. Ah, this is the shipment I was waiting for. Or waiting on from Quarry Mill. I heard the wagon ran afoul of some great monstrosity just up the path from the mirror planks. But I see you've managed to scrape together a few bits and pieces. Seems I can't get through two bells these days without hearing some new tale of horrors. The Deepcroft, or Bandit Cutthroats, prowl in the woods hereabouts. Makes me wonder if me chocobos are safe at night, it does. Forever in need of adventurer's skills, I hope you'll be around to lend a hand. Looks like the trail in... Oh, there we go. That's where we continue the story. 